The integrated resuscitation system offers many benefits to you today. Let's cover a refresher on how to safely use this option. The Venturi suction system allows you to set a suction pressure to assist in clearing the oral, tracheal, and nasal passages when indicated. You should verify your suction system is working prior to using the warmer with a patient. Remember to turn off suction when not in use. There are several options available with the integrated resuscitation system, including integrated blender and high-pressure yolks, cylinder holders, built-in wrench to quickly release tank valves, as well as gas input connections for hospital system gases, connections for both hospital central gas system and separate gas cylinders are available, so you have the option of another source in case one fails or is running low. The e-cylinder catch and guard kit can be used to assist in the removing and replacing of the cylinders, as well as providing additional security for e-cylinders. Only trained and qualified individuals should change the cylinders. A T-piece system includes built-in manometer, dual flow meters, one primary and one secondary gas outlet. The secondary gas outlet supports the use of commonly available O2 delivery tubing or can be used for bag and mask as a backup to the T-piece. T-piece gas outlet, PIP control knob, air and oxygen tank gauges. If your system is configured for bag and mask, you will have the option of attaching it to a built-in manometer. If either the bag and mask or T-piece resuscitation system is configured without the optional blender, your system will not have the tank gauges or the blender control knob to regulate the FiO2. Remember to pay attention to your flow rates to ensure they are set to the appropriate rate. 10 liters per minute is good in most conditions. Verify your PIP and PEEP. Note, there is a PIP safety valve to help ensure users don't unintentionally exceed intended pressure levels. Verify your FiO2 is set at the needed concentration. If you need additional information, see the user's manual for more instructions on how to check your pressures. If your system doesn't have the blender or the high-pressure yolks, you will have to check your tank level on your hospital's gas regulators. Make sure you turn off your medical gas switch when not in use. Always complete this or any other pre-use checkout or equipment prep prior to using the warmer with a patient. It's important to keep in mind that only GE accessories should be used with this system. For example, the T-piece circuit. Other manufacturers' T-piece circuits may not be compatible with the GE resuscitation system.